What is up, YouTube? Jonas Fatson back with another Let's Check Out. This time we're going to be looking at Urban Cards. This is a this is a uh, roguelite deck builder of sorts from Hugh Games, and uh, they were gracious gracious enough to give me a key to the game to check it out. I played through the tutorial um, and I started a campaign really quick just to get a feel for the game to make sure that I'm not a complete maroon when we do check this out um i know a couple of the uh the other boys in the wholesome verse have played through this i haven't seen too much on it uh from them i haven't had a chance to really check out their content but i know that they've they've played through and it seems like a pretty fun and interesting game uh similar to uh what was the name hack city uh that i checked out a little while ago uh, and I'll explain it as we go here. I think what I'm going to do is just go with the basic uh, basic cards here. I played through the suits. Strong defense, good synergy, just what all suits need. Can you afford to trust this nose? And a random... I'm going to go with a random deck. Yeah, so essentially what happens here is you have different years and random things can happen because we chose random. We have two pigs. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. The basic concept of the, of the game is you either need to have get your opponent to a max level of debt or gain a total amount of money for each individual fight that we have. Get okay. mom's check. $2,000, mom loves me. Let's go. Oh, baby. And you can see here the three cards. We can choose two of them as we go. So we, can, we have to choose a fight here. We have, either need to fight the gamers or the mafia or both, but I am gonna do the event just to, to see what we can do here. One of your employees has recommended a friend who is interested in joining your company. After interviewing after interviewing them, you need to make a decision, would you hire them? So this costs $500. Uh, don't call us, we call you. I think that just, I'm gonna go for it. That was so loud. Continue, please. Let me, uh, let me just crank the volume down like a little bit. There we go. So I think we'll fight the gamers for the first fight. And I get to explain what is going on. There's, it, it just kind of spat us right into this. So these, you could start with four cards. I've never seen these ones. I have seen this one. I haven't seen these ones. So kill one worker you control and earn double of its cost. That's pretty interesting. Earn plus 200 to minus 100. Earn from plus 200 to minus 100. Ah, uh, it's a risk reward. I I'm gonna play this and hopefully we go first. We do. Uh, you'll see here on the grid, essentially the way that this works is there's different kinds of cards that play on different rows in each individual. The, the middle area here is the common space. This is where you play the business type cards. In here, you play your henchman, like this guy here. You can see we play here. Um, there's action cards that work just like action cards and say Magic the Gathering. And then you have worker cards that you play on the very bottom here on this uh, Mario-esque looking sidewalk. They tend to just kind of sit there. They Like this here is an example of will potentially earn us money or p potentially will lose us money. And we kind of go through there. The henchmen can attack either the businesses or the, uh, I'm just going to call them the planeswalker just for the sake of it. Oh, uh, it's a trinket. Understood. Uh, one of the things that I kind of wish that they would do with the game is delineate a little bit more around like which space is which you do when you drag the card, but it'd be nice if like the grid was like a little bit more uh, plain, I guess, with its uh, explanation of what, like what goes where essentially, but that's fine. I'm gonna play the worker and in the turn. So we're gonna earn 150 from him. So you can see there's a business right there. They played the arcade. So the arcade will earn the gamers $100 every turn, and it's got four armor. The first person to reach 3,000 wins, or the person who win or gets to 5,000 max debt loses. Essentially, that's how it works. To control a suit, create two or more on the board. Uh, not gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play another day trader. And end my turn. I have a good feeling about these guys. Upgraded Biz with plus two defense. 
So the henchman can attack the business for him, like I mentioned. Um, makes 100 only if you control a business. All right, let's, uh, let's get this guy out here. End our turn. I might actually play Inheritance on the next one. Especially given that this guy's going to lose us money. And we get 600 from it. Move one of your henchmen from one street to another. I don't even know if we have businesses in this deck, to be honest. Um, these aren't suits, right? I think the suits are a very specific card. So, you know what? You're dead. Give me 600. I'm gonna play you just because, why not? And I can't attack you? I thought for sure you could attack with some of them. That's fine, we'll, we'll start wailing on the uh, arcade there. There's no point in playing the taxi or nepotism. So we'll just move on. Okay. Oh my God, what? I did not even look at that card. Uh, security officer. Just a straight henchman that does two damage. We could also attack here. Oh, now we can attack up there uh, and take them out. I don't think it's necessarily worth it right now. End turn. I would love to see what I have for the deck here. Come on, it's free. Like we don't, we don't even have a suit, so we might actually lose like right away. Play that right there. There we go. What does that do? Earn 100 if you control two henchmen on the street. Move that guy there. We might get another henchman. And then that guy starts making us more money. I think we're going to lose. <laughs> I think we're going to lose straight up. Oh, you can play businesses on businesses. Hey, I did not know that. Good to know. It also shows you how much you're gonna earn at the start of your turn, so you can kind of map out what uh, what is going on. So here you can see we're gaining 700. We might actually win this this turn or this uh, this game here because we are gaining more money than than they are. But and they don't really have henchmen that are very strong. So let's see, employee of the month. Steals an additional plus 50 for each worker with compete. I don't think we have any that have compete. Uh, put you there so this guy earns more money. And I'm actually going to smack that guy to take him out. So the thing here, which is interesting, at least that I find interesting, is that when you get to the end of the cards, um, you don't actually draw any more. They don't get recycled or reshuffled. And you basically just kind of hope for the best at the end of it. He's got 2,500. He wins next turn. So play that so that I can earn 300. I don't know if that made sense. And we, uh, we lost already. Cool. We lost to the gamers of all the people to lose to. Oh, hello. Hey, at least when you file for bankruptcy, you can shake off the creditors. Just don't let them see I'm giving you help. So that just added a whole bunch of debt. Or maybe these here, these are lives. I understand. Okay. So it just adds to the debt. Let's do the Mafia. I think this is a highly cursed deck uh, with the random cards. I probably should have done the suits. Get 200 cash. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let me go first. We're second. I don't think we can play this right away. Uh, we actually might. Yeah. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth getting that down early. It's a very strong uh, business to get down. Get 350. And I think we can play this on top of it. So you're only making 50. 
Uh, inheritance, kill one worker and gain double its cost. So that would give me 600. You know what? I think it might be worth it early. Play you. There we go. So that's earning 450 every single turn. It's actually like really good. This guy giving you trouble, boss. Now we're earning 550 each turn. It's got 16 health. I'm on it. Can move from one street to the other street. Equipped henchman gains plus one attack. That guy is very strong. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Makes 100 when you control a biz. We do. And play the worker. This is going to be Smack you. Take away your money. You still make 500, though. But we're making 700. So, I actually feel pretty good about that. Those guys are super strong. I'll do it. But we're, we're gaining 1,050. That's pretty good. That sucks. We might get a henchman, but we're still earning 950. He's also gaining 900. So this is like a, a race. Deal one damage to Biz per turn. All right, so it's on fire. The Mafia has firebombed our apartment building. I don't know how I feel about that. Move, move to this one. Start punching that. The, only because there's no henchman here uh, means that our security guard can't get hit. So I feel pretty good about that. Oh, I guess, yeah, it also varies based on uh, this guy right here, our day trader. Let them smack. No problem at all. I actually think we're not in that terrible of a position right now. I think we got this. We need to live two turns. We, we need a really good last card. It's an awful card. I think we we lost again. Uh, uh, you know what? Back to main menu. Back to let's just do. Let's just play new campaign. Yes, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do Ikibara. I'm gonna play as the gamers. Let's go. I don't know this deck like at all. Let's take a look. Arcades, NerdCon. Worker, gamer, worker, henchman, gamer, henchman, gamer. Okay. That's a zero cost. That's actually like interesting. Fanboy crowd. Play three fanboy, one attack tokens, random streets. Oh, that's where that thing came from. Okay, okay, okay. Another Take day, a look at the suitcase. Dog. Player has 20% chance of earning plus 100 every turn. Interesting. Interesting. So we have 100 every turn. 50% chance of starting with plus 100 and a 20% of starting every turn with 100. Um, you know what? Let's do the suits. Let's do the suits. Today's the day. Today's the day. Blah, 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 blah. Let's play this. I'm not good enough at this game yet to know uh, what a good starting hand is. Also, I think we're in a better second turn. And never mind, he didn't do anything. So let's play you. I'm gonna leave this for now. I actually like system upgrade selected biz making plus 100. Seems like pretty good. Enter. I think we're on a pretty good path here. What is going on? I don't know if you can have a maximum size to your hand. We have so many henchmen. You're a worker, though. I can't afford you. Okay. End turn. You're finally playing. I think we can take that guy out, like, right away. Uh, right? I'll do it. 
Okay, we, we got stuff to do here. Let, let's see. Here's a worker. Upgraded biz with plus two defense. That's really interesting. I think what I want to do is play this. Still have 300. And... Play that on you. You're now a six attack. It takes us out. It means that they don't make any money here. And I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that was the right call. Can't afford that, that kind of sucks. I'm gonna upgrade the defense there. And honestly, it's like an extra $100 a turn. Let's go. That's fine. It's getting less than fine. Henchmen on their street have plus one attack. I think... I think I want to play that there. And then I'm going to play that because it's the gamer type. And we essentially can make more money from it. As soon as a business gets placed here, it's going to get smacked all to hell. I think you're dead. Yeah, I think our arcade is dead. I don't know what we could have done there. Other than, like, obviously that. Hmm... Play a fanboy token with one attack. I understand. Okay. Just a very simple... Yeah. But it is money. That's the other thing, too. Play three fanboy, one attack. You get plus 50 per gamer you control. Those are gamer types. Hmm. Add two defense to a business, huh? Ah, it's too bad you didn't place it there. So we have 600. So if I go like this, I'm here for my pre -order. and like this, it's a pretty good smack, like right away. And I can't play that. We we spend a lot on this one, but I actually think we're we're in an okay spot. We're in an okay position Not here because we're gonna take out this money. That's actually like 300 that this thing will uh, will generate. So, smack, smack. Now you're only making like, you're still making 200. Oh, because you, you make 100 every turn. Play this, it's gonna play that there. That's gonna make more money. That does nothing, but now we get 300 cash. Let's go. I think that's worth it. Take a little bit of debt. The debt does carry over. Um, I did learn. So the debt, you you want to do make you want to make sure that you do manage it a little bit. Fifty per henchman. Wow. We didn't win. Not yet. I think we yeah we win next turn. Look at that. I do gotta say like as a, a bit of criticism, I do wish that there was a little bit more to the victor because I actually won a match in uh, when I was playing it and I didn't real I, I didn't know why I had won. Um, so it could be a little bit clearer on there. Uh, make 200 per business you own. It's a zero cost card. I think I'm gonna go with it. It's also on sale. So we use the money that we just earned to do that. Unlock cards are now in the pool. Teletransport and parts shop. Teleport any henchman to a random street. Could be pretty good. Uh, let's do security dogs. I think we're well fitted to fight uh, the blue team. Like the suits. It seems actually like not that bad. I don't think we're gonna get 
Like we can play one on our first turn here. So we'll play the arcade. Next turn, we should be able to play the this arcade potentially. Some other stuff on top of it. Uh, never mind, we only got 400. Play that. Can't play that, but we are going to be able to play this next turn. So I actually feel pretty good about that. Let's make this arcade just insanely strong. We can take that out like pretty much like right away. So 700. We'll play that there. We'll play this here. here Smash. He's here for his pre-order, his PlayStation 5, which nobody can get, except for me. November 12th, baby, right. it's gonna happen. Still taking it out. I'm, I'm fine with that. He's gonna get a little bit of money here. Um, I think we're still sitting, sitting pretty good. Now, this makes more money the more gamers we have. So... How do I want to do this? This is, that pays basically half for itself. I think that is probably a fine play. They're, they're basically just there to help us make, if we make two turns with them, we get our money back. Three turns, we start making some profit. So actually pretty okay with it. Now, Play that. Play that. That's going to make 400. And that's pretty good. We, we obviously can't do much with that henchman. Um, you know what? Just, just save your money for this round. These guys are going to get smacked. He's going to take these guys out. Taking out the business instead. Interesting. Okay. Make 200 per business you own. Why not? And if I play you here and I smack you, you're dead. And then smack you, you're going to take that my guy out, but then it allows me to play a stronger. And now I've got a four and a three in our middle row. I actually think that's pretty good. You're going to live another turn. Got to get to 3K. Upgrade a biz with two defense. I'll fix it. Um, hear me out. I'm going to go like that. Now he lives through uh, at least one turn here. Yeah, I think that was the right play. You can't attack right away. You get $200 cash. You're at 700 cash. Like, give me a friggin' break. What are you even gonna do? I don't think you can attack these guys right away. No, okay. Um, I shouldn't have played that, but we are gonna win this round, so. As soon as he clicks end turn, this match is over. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Uh, Bitcoin, make 100 or 300 if you control a hacker. I don't think we have any hackers. No. That card's useless. Earns plus 100 if you control a dev. Don't think we have a dev. We do not. And another arcade, we can actually, actually don't mind getting that because now we can make like a triple strong arcade. I didn't mean to click continue there. Let's, let's, let's do this. We can actually skip flights on this one. Sure. Another day, another dollar. Sure, why not? This IT worker with the weird Band-Aid on his cheek, why not? 
And let's go to the shop. I love the art. I, I do gotta say, like, the aesthetic of the art in the game is just beautifully done. Colorless card. Teleport any henchman. Adds plus three attack or upgrade a biz with two defense. 1600, huh? Okay, let's check the trinkets. Lenders you control steal plus 50. Adds one defense to your biz. Enemy thieves and lenders of 10% and not. I actually think that's insanely good. And. I'm gonna turn the uh, game volume down a little bit. I think that's probably all I want for here. So wipe the cards, hook me up with some more. Let's go to the event first. Get mom's check. Getting plus 2,000. So the debt and trade, I actually got this event. Essentially what you do is you trade cards that you have here for cards that they have on their side. And sometimes it ends up being like, um, two for one or one, one to one. I actually don't really want to trade. I'm going to fight the suits. I hopefully I win. I think they slowly get stronger and stronger as well. They have 21 cards in their deck. That's not good, dude. I'm glad we're going second. I want to see what you're doing. I don't know what, what does this do? Make plus 50 or plus 50 debt every turn. Player starts with one extra card. Okay, okay. $300. I'm gonna play you. Just smack there and turn. I think what I wanna do is get a nerd con or arcade. Actually, I probably wanna get the arcade down and then upgrade it with plus two. So play that there. I gotta get this thing dead. It's earning too much money. What is this worker? What was that? Convert a henchman to work? Oh my god. What? It just stole my chicken, dude. Okay, play that. Still have 200. Just play the casual gamer there just so we can uh, smack this, get it done in a couple turns. I think we might lose. I think we might be, uh, I think we might be boned. Okay, I'm gonna add three to you just to like actually get rid of that thing. That's all I can do. Hmm, we're at 1,200 debt. That, that's not good. This guy actually turned out to be pretty good. I don't like that. Okay, we have 500. Let me let me math this out here. Basically, we can only play one card. So, you're making 400. If I do this, you will make 500, and we draw a card and still have 200 left over. Play you. You're gonna make 50. You're gonna make 150 next turn, but no drawing of a card. You can play you. Gain two defense. You're already at 15. I think I can just play that. Now you make 500. It's kind of a crappy turn, um, but that might actually have been enough to turn it around for us. You got a lot of workers. Next turn, you earn 100 for every worker. Okay, how much money, how much am I sitting at? 700. I'm gonna play NerdCon. I'm gonna play IT guy. And make that a little bit stronger. End turn. We're still making 850 every turn, but he's making 1,050 right now. And we gotta get to five grand. We're at zero. Oh my lord. That's why he's making so much right there. 1,850. Oh, 
so I could play IG guy, fanboy crowd, or and early bird, and not pro gamer. So if I were to play you there, and play. Play you, play you, and play these. That's gonna earn a decent amount of money. Smack that. Actually, you know what? Take out the security guard, sure. We, we might lose here. Oh my God. So many workers. Henchmen on the stream gain plus one attack, huh? Okay, I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna smack you. And then play a fanboy there. We're actually, you know what? We might be able to turn this around. I should have hit this thing. What am I doing? Smack, smack. I could have taken that thing out. Oh, that just cost us. That just cost us the game here. I can't do anything. He's gonna earn thirteen fifty right here, and uh, and we lose, and we lose. Wow. We do get another life here. Remove two thousand debt. Destroy. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I can beat the suits. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. Today's the day. Let me go first. I think we had the right idea here. We we can make very strong businesses here. We want to go second. That sucks. Um, I don't even get a draw. I don't want to play these guys yet. End turn. Um, we gotta get our businesses out the arcade and nerdcon, and kind of getting them get them going. You know. Play you. Punch you. End turn. Okay. Start with this. Can't afford that. Henchmen work. We, we, we need the business cards to, to come out. We're, we're kind of reliant on the, the businesses right now. You know what? You make money. Put that like fanboy there, fangirl slash fanboy. What are the what are the? We got like a Mandalorian looking thing. We got an Ash Ketchum. Uh, we have I don't know in the middle, and then that might be Violet from the Invincibles, and then possibly Beast from Teen Titans. Not entirely sure. Play you because I think we might reach our hand limit, <laughs> and I don't know. Okay. Today's the day. Oh my god. Can you play? No, you can't play on top. Uh, you know what? Sure. Why not? Give me I need a business card. There there's got to be a business card coming next. We, we can actually destroy that thing next time. I'm, I'm a little upset. I think we only have six business cards left. No, we only have four business cards. That's okay. That's one thing we got to address here. We, we got to get some business cards going. I gotta get some money going here too. Uh, play this. I got this. This is gonna, it's gonna grow. Don't worry. They they keep playing cards, and we we are actually like very set. Just don't forget to destroy them. That. 
that changes the meta for them quite a bit here. Um, play that, make it stronger. Nerdcon for the next turn. Nerdcon's gonna make like some pretty good coin. And we can destroy that like right away. Okay, how much money do we have? We definitely need to play that. We definitely need to destroy this. And yeah, we don't need to do anything else here. We'll, we'll want to do this because I want to get this stronger. That's fine. You're only making money off of your workers. Although you do have the card that makes it that you gain like a lot. I got this. Make that guy stronger. Remove 2000 debt, destroy. Actually, you know what? Sure, we, we can't even play these, so. It gets it out of the deck. We have one card left. I think it's it's gotta be an arcade card, right? That's actually fine. It's actually fine, because now we can play somebody else here. Still only got two cards left. We just gotta survive the little bit here. Play that because you're a gamer. You make more money now. Now we're making 1300. You're only making 900. I think we got this one. I wish you could destroy these somehow. Because now, like, I can't do anything with that. But two turns, and I think we win. He's still making 900 here. Show must go on. Get 300 if this is the only card in your hand. Get 100 cash. I should have played that. Not sure why I didn't. I also do kind of wish that like the money worked a little bit differently so that I could kind of map it out. We're at 4,900 for the next turn. Is there any way that I can play this? And the answer is yes. It worked out to be exactly the same. <laughs> uh, that's okay. We still win. We still win. Like right now, actually. There we go. That should do it. Nineteen fifty. What? I'm a little upset that we're only 50 away. He was actually really close to winning. Holy moly, we got the achievement. Feeling good. Three actions, huh? I'm gonna skip those. We, we need a shop. We need to get some more businesses. Yeah, that's fine. I know, unlocked cards. Let's go shop. Hello. Hello, friend. I think we have to. I know we can't really do much, but we kind of need more business cards. Now let's take a look down here. Adds 100 debt to the enemy in every, every turn. Pigeons you control. I don't think we have pigeons. Thieves you control. We don't have thieves. Makes plus 50 when you play a henchman. We do have some henchmen. We got one, two, three, four henchmen. I think that might be worth it. And I think cash advance is pretty good. I think that actually worked out fairly. I'm gonna skip the lenders. Sure. Yeah, you know what, that's fine. That's fine. I wonder, I don't know if it goes to the end of the page if there's like a boss or anything. Let's, let's do, so to, the last fight of this video is going to be the gamers versus the gamers. Orange versus purple. A tale as old as time. This is pretty good firsthand. I want to be able to play the arcade. 
never mind. Gotta make five G's. Look, you can play NerdCon, but I'm playing the arcade. Arcade is cooler. Arcade is absolutely cooler. Oh, I see, you actually get a bonus from like upgrading rather than playing new. Did not know that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's, let's think this through. Upgrade a business with plus two defense. I got this. That's now a very strong arcade. That, that's actually a really good card for NerdCon. Your, your NerdCon is very strong now. I'm not very happy with you. Um, uh, henchman on the street. So if I play you I'm here for my pre -order. and you, we'll get you next turn. Yeah, that's fine. You're, you're going to attack. You have 12. I think we can take you out. I like that. You're you're willingly uh, destroying your own um, people there for me, and that feels pretty good. I don't know if I need to play that. I don't need to play that yet. Please don't attack my indie shack. I would love an arcade here. <laughs> Too easy. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. You're gonna destroy my two strong, uh, my double strong uh, uh, bah, bah, arcade here, and I'm not very thrilled about it. What can I do? I think I'm going to play these guys down here. And the reason being is that we're going to lose this business. He might play something on top of it. Um, at least we're, we're doing something, I guess. Sure. It's 200. Why not? Hello. I'm back. 600, what can I do here? I could play both of these or one of them and then the other. The thing is like, there's no point in doing that right now. I'm just gonna end the turn. This might be a slow fight. That's actually fine. We, we have these henchmen available to us. We need to do something here though. So give me this. We might lose this business, unfortunately. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do about it. Because I, I, I'm going to lose this business, um, I don't want to play the henchman down. There's literally nothing I can do. And this will dictate what card I want to play next. So you four, if I play you here, you're dead like right away. I think that is... I think that was an okay play. I think it was an O play K. O play K? I think it was an okay play. Make that guy stronger. I want my nerd con to come out. Suppose I could have attacked there. Make, make, uh, make the cosplay girl stronger. Punchy punchy. End turn. We're at 2200. I think we're going to win. He's only making 100. That's a bare minimum you can make a turn. So we'll just keep punching the henchman. Okay. Now we got plays. Plus 50 for every nerd you control. Can only do two per turn. And now play this and play this. So that's going to make us a fair amount of money. We might lose these two, but at least we're gaining more here plus the uh, the regular business on top. 
yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. That's fine. We can take out the, the arcade fairly easily here. Smack you. Go like that. And I think we win next turn. Not quite. Not quite. It, it's close. It's close. I should have... No, uh, you know what? I shouldn't have. I was going to say I could have, like, smacked these two. But we didn't actually need to because we just won. And that's great. What are you, hench thief gamer? Biz party earns 100 when any henchman leaves the game. That's interesting. That wasn't the unlock. That was when you could buy the cards. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm done. Anyway, um, I think that this might go on for longer than I'm able to uh, to do, but what, you know what? Sure. Let, let's, let's, let's do debt and trade because I wanted to show you this. Let's pay off our debt and trade some cards. Let's see what you got for me. Let's see. So you have an arcade, which I got to say I'm tempted. What card do I not particularly need? I don't really need this. You know what? I like it. Selected business makes plus 100. Cool. And I don't think we need you. I think that that's that's a fair trade. I think that's a fair trade. So you can understand how that concept works. You basically need to make trades. I think this is the final boss. Oh my God, the pigeons. I'm glad I didn't end the video. Oh, let's see, it's color coded. Why are we fighting pigeons? How much do we have to earn? to make 10 grand draw two cards keep one you make two hundred dollars on your first turn okay and turn i think i think we're i think we're so boned I think we're so boned. <laughs> oh, that's doing 450 each. You're already making 550 per turn. I gotta, I gotta get some stuff going on on you. Okay, six attack is actually pretty good. Adds a random object to your hand. What did you add? Play two pigeon. One attack. It's going too fast. Play two pigeon attacks. Equipped henchman gains steel plus 100. Why does a pigeon have a handgun? Why does the pigeon have a handgun? Okay, 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 okay. Settle down. Settle down. Just start smacking. Just start smacking. We'll take that thing out next turn. I think we want to play here. And then we can punch the, uh, the pigeon there. And I don't think we need to do those. The early bird card we want to make sure that we keep. You know what? I actually think we have a shot here. Your package on time. Deal one damage to Biz per turn. Okay, that's fine. Um, you're gonna live for another turn. I'm gonna take out that pigeon. That's fine. End turn. Find your way home. We have the same token. Add plus one defense, right? What is this one? Player has 5% chance of stealing $100 per turn. You're taking two damage per turn though. Why, why are you pigeon? What happened? Why do I have pigeons? Did I did I miss something? What do you do? Convert enemy henchmen to pigeons with one attack. Fair enough. All right. Yep. You literally turned me into pigeon. Um. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. 
not right now. You're you're only gaining 300. I'm gaining 650 right now. Hopefully I get another arcade card relatively soon. Or the nerd con, because we can play the fanboy crowd and make a little bit of money here. That's also fine. I, got this. I don't want to play these cards yet. I think that's a good end turn. I don't like that this person's stealing, though. I don't like that this pigeon now has a, like, a crowbar. If we lose the indie dev company, I'm not too concerned about it. Draw a card. Give me a good card. Adds three attack to a henchman. I have a four attack pigeon. Get smacked. Okay, indie, the indie dev company is is Vominos. I think our arcade is burned to the ground next turn here too. You'll find your way home. Slingshot, that's fine. You have no cards. You have no cards. We're still good. It's dead. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, play two pigeons, one attack. Okay, okay. I gotta play you. Good luck. I gotta play that because we gotta get some money going. We're only making 500 a turn here. So, I forgot about that. When you play a henchman, you gain 50. So, this is actually... 150 back immediately. That's 50 back. Actually pretty good. We can take that out like first turn. What? Enemy makes minus 200 if they make 1,000 or more. That's fine. So play you. Play you. Smack, smack. Bye bye. And let's go. 2100, making 500 a turn. You call me. Not really where you want to be. Um, this is kind of what we need here. So I want to play this in the middle. We want to play this. We play the arcade here. So if we play the arcade here, you can't actually kill it. So at least we get something back for it. I should have attacked you with one of these. That that was that's a mistake. That's a mistake. One of my weird chicken-headed people should have definitely done that. Oh, well, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Cuz that just killed oh, everything. You're only at 1250. I'm out of cards though. That, that's a big problem. It's actually like an enormous problem. Take out one of the pigeons and turn. They're out of cards as well. So give me that. Make that a one attack. Our nerd con is gonna last a little bit longer now. Enter. We have a shot. We have a shot. Henchman pride, 50 per henchman you control in the streets. That's only like an extra 50. It's okay. I, Cause you draw one card when uh, when it's the end of your turn. So we're, we're gonna find out. It, it sure would be nice to like be able to attack with this guy, but we're halfway there. We're halfway there and we're we're making slightly more money than they are. So I think it's just a matter of time before before we win.
We're making 500 a turn. They're making 400 a turn. So, I think we got it. I think we got this one. Show must go on with you. $300. That's what I like to see. This was close, though. Um, because he's, like, right behind us. And yeah, we're gonna we're actually gonna finish this episode, this let's check out, which I think will be the first time ever on the channel that I'll actually be able to finish with a win. I don't believe it. <laughs> is this gonna do it? This is this does it. I can't believe I defeated the page. Look at that beautiful birds achievements. Let's go. Um, sure, give me that. Draw a card, enemy gains plus 600 debt, and you remove minus. That could be pretty good. I like that one. I think that's it, though. I think that's the run, right? Yeah. Good job, I'm impressed. Built an empire that is boycott proof, and you are ruling half the city, and no one has noticed. Year one victory. Let's go. We unlocked some cards. Oh, it continues on. Year two. You know what? I'm, I'm happy enough with like a year one win. It's unlikely I'm going to continue on. I didn't realize that it uh, continued on further and further and further. Anyway, that is Urban Cards. That is an early access. If you enjoyed what you saw, check out the Steam link. Check out for, look for the Steam link in the description below. It's right below the card here. And while you're down there, click that like and subscribe button. It means the world to me. You can also be found on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Jonas Fatson. Or if you want to find out where else I am available, hit up JonasFatson.com for all the links to all the things. Thanks so much for tuning in. Peace out.